welcome to Colton's Fix-It 101 and today we are going to be talking about this now this is the cordless brushless sander from DeWalt Now, here we are with the brushless cordless sander from DeWalt. Now, from the get-go, I'll tell you that this is not my sander. It belongs to my youngest son. And uh, he wanted, uh, or, well, he's always wanted a cordless um, sander. But I said to him at the time, I said, don't go out and get one of the cheap versions that you can see around because one they won't last and two you'll be buying another one you know three or four months down the line after using it so i said go and get you spend your money and get yourself a decent one so with that he's got a, the dewalt version and we all load it we all like the uh dewalt tools here at holt and fix it one and one so here we go he's got but he's bought that but he always already had the a uh, corded version of say like that and you can see the the, the very much the, the similarity between these two um, just that one obviously has got the cord and the other one's got the adapter for the, uh, the for the battery on the back but there are some slight differences actually in the um, in the actual makeup of the motor on the inside but obviously this being an 18 volt brushless motor that's actually in here and it and it also has um, as soon as you switch it off it has a brake on it that stops it straight away whereas the corded version it has a brake on it but it's not quite as um, severe as the uh, the corded version this one is as soon as you switch it off it's off you know it, it works very well in in that respect it has the the, the usual um, takeoff point for putting on a, um, a dust bag or something like that but it also has incorporated in that it has the DeWalt um, airlock um, connectors and if you haven't seen my video on the airlock connectors I'll post a link up here for it I've also done one on that um, good very very good system and that will actually go on here I know it slightly defeats the object of having a cordless sander to go and hook it up to a vacuum that's going off to a, a vacuum cleaner somewhere. I know it slightly defeats the object and I, I thought it did at the time, um, but they do actually provide you with a, um, a dust bag that actually goes on here, which is handy. And you're not taking off great, you know, amounts of clouds of dust or anything like that with this it is I, I would consider this more to be for fine finishing um, th th than anything else if, if you was going to do a lot of sanding and everything else you would get out your your cordless sander your, your sorry your corded sander you know I, I if I'm going to do a lot of sanding um, I, I, I wouldn't see this as your as your main um, sander all the time this is it's just not not I wouldn't use it for that I don't know about anyone else that other people's mileage might vary but mine certainly wouldn't be the fact that I would use this all the time like that but uh, it takes the standard uh, eight hole 125 mil pad on the bottom of you know sanding pads and sanding disc and everything else the same as what the other version that I showed you just a minute ago um, I don't know whether you can see on the camera above there, but it does have the six holes, as you can see here, on the on the bottom, um, and there's the dust port on there. You can see on the camera above. Um, the only thing I fa really have found about this that is the battery um, compartment on that is actually on the back. Now, there are other versions of this 
uh, out there. Um, I'll see if I can find a, a picture for you to put up there. But they have a side mounting um, uh, battery that goes in here as well. It, 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 you, you take one of your, your, there's a standard DeWalt battery. This one would slide into the, into the top like that. Um, there are versions out there that slide that way into the into the unit, um, and it was I, I was talking to my son about this um, only yesterday actually, um, and he said that he got he li he likes this version of it going down on there like that because you'd be able to put your hand on the top, and you'd be able to pull the the battery out. Now I I, I can understand that that that's a good idea. Now he, he said to me, if you have one on the side, then you would obviously have to hold on to the onto it like that, and you would be wrenching it out sideways and pulling the whole sander more or less towards you. I don't know if you can see that on the top camera or not, but you would be pulling the whole thing towards you. And I, I say, well, yeah, there's a good thought there actually about that. So there are some things about this one up against the other versions of it that uh, that does um, you know really work go do go well. Um, now the other thing that I talked to him about that it does get a little bit um, heavy on the back of where the battery is actually stored or you know being used um, because it depends on the size of the battery and there's always there's. Obviously, with um, cordless tools, there's always a trade-off with with cordless tools. Um, do you put a big battery on there to have um, a longer run time, or do you put a small battery on there because it's much lighter in your hands and have a shorter run time? So, in this case, um, I think it's a little bit of a trade-off. Um, that uh, you know, I've got some bigger batteries here. This, this one here is a 4 amp hour um, uh, battery, a DeWalt um, style battery. It isn't DeWalt battery, but it's a DeWalt style battery. And if this one sits on the back like that, then obviously there's a lot more weight to this. Um, and, you know, it, it, it tends to, you know, if, I, if that's on a flat surface like that, it tends to want to go tip tip backwards and you know in, in the obviously they're going to, again here's the trade-off that this being a four amp hour battery it will actually have a longer run time but the trade-off that that is is it's got a, a a lot more weight to the actual uh sander again and and you're going into back into territory of um uh, you know, of a cordless router, a cordless um, sander again. Now, obviously, here's here's a, a this is a two amp hour battery from Dewalt. Now, obviously, if that sat on the back, that you you know, it's not so much weight, but you the trade off again is the, your runtime. You haven't got a lot of runtime because anything that's rotating or anything like that. But if you've got a sander, a router, or anything, or electric drill, even will, will t you know a cordless drill will actually zap power out of your out of a small battery. That's well known. That's why we all have bigger batteries. But it's a big trade-off to have with this if it's got a small battery and you can only use it for about ten minutes. Then you know you'll, you'll be swapping out another battery. So. But, you know, again, if you've got one of these big 9 amp hour batteries that I've got here, if that was to sit on the back there, it, it just, it, it, it falls over on its own. As you can see there, it just falls over on its own. But in, in it's really, really heavy to make it as a cordless, cordless sander. So, anyway, that's enough for that. But... There are a few things that I've noticed about this. This being the DCW210, by the way, if anyone's interested. Um, there are a few things with it. It does have an easy on-off button at the front, and the speed control is also at the front here, all on your on your index finger. 
uh, depending on which side, which which hand you're actually using at the time as well, is is for lefties and righties. So, you know, good thing, and it's got a lot of um, rubberized um, uh, on it as well, so you can hold it well with your hands. It's a good little good little thing. Um, you know, if anyone wants to hear the uh, thing running, let's um, get that running on there. Put that on there. And I'll switch it on a, on a low setting. I won't want to keep it on a high setting. But there we go. And you can see, uh, I'll put it onto the, the, the uh, camera above. And as you can see, as soon as it switches it on, as soon as it's off, it's off. You know? Good little thing. But at the end of the day, yes, it's a good, good sander and everything else. Uh, but it's not a sort of thing that you would use, you know, constantly day in, day out for a, your major sanding machine. Get your cordless one out. But to be honest with you, at the end of the day, for me, I like my Merca. And uh, that's all I can say. I like my Merca. So I, I personally won't be getting one of these. But anyone that's in the market for actually wanting a decent sander, then this is the one to get, especially if they want cordless. If they, if they want a cordless 125 mil sander, I would say they get one of these because they are absolutely marvelous. And the finish that it actually actually gives as well, my son was using it yesterday, and the finish that he, that he actually got with this, depending on the pad, obviously on the bottom, if you've got what grit you've got on there, but he, he, he was using it yesterday and it done a really, really nice job. So there we go. Well, there you go. The brushless cordless 18 volt sander from DeWalt. Now, I personally wouldn't go and buy one. Um, I'm quite happy with my Merker and, uh, I, you know, it does what I want. So, but, uh, if you like this video, please click on that like button and uh, please hit this, the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Um, I do have my usual uh, social media buttons and everything else, so please uh, click on those and find out what's happening on the channel. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.